is off um, just quickly getting us something to eat uh, we did some wedding crafty stuff today mainly um, putting together some stuff for like the photo booth and uh, she's doing like more decorations that go up like on the on the windows and all that kind of stuff and I fixed uh, two guitars today uh, one and a half. I'll say one and a half guitars. Uh, a couple of my students want their guitars uh, restrung and uh, set up. The thing with doing a setup is that it takes a while. Like it's not a quick process, but it's not like an in intensive process either. It's like you do 10, 15 minutes of work and then you wait like an hour or two just to see. <laughs> and then you go back to it and you just kind of keep doing that. Uh, main reason is because it's what instrument and Small things will change like how much the wood's bending, especially with the guitar, like it'll change how much, the, how much the neck bends. So like sometimes the neck's like this, so that you need to, to turn something on the guitar and then all of a sudden it, it makes like a small, small adjustment. And you want to do small, small, tiny ones because if you do something too quickly, you could break or crack something and that's not good. And especially since I don't own the guitars, I don't want to break them. Hello, you probably can't even see me. It's dark. I'm here. I'm just headed out to go grab a couple things. Hockey game is going to be on soon, and we've been working on wedding stuff all day. I'll give you an update on some of that when we go home, but it's cold now, so I'm going to put my hand away. I didn't realize how cold it was outside. Luckily, I had my giant hood to keep me warm. My hands, on the other hand, freezing. I'm not going to show you much, but that's what I mean when I say we've been doing wedding stuff all day. That's all you get. Alright, so I figured I'd just show off uh, the guitars that I fixed. So, uh, the first one is just like a standard kind of acoustic guitar. I think it's like a 310, is it? Yeah, an F310. I don't know if you can see it. When it was handed to me, this was basically not this brown color at all. It was almost like a um, cardboard. I was just going to say that. It looked, like it looked really close box. to like this color yeah. on instead. So I, uh, I put oil on the fretboard and now it's a very, very nice rosewood color. A very nice dark rosewood. And I uh, put very thin acoustic strings on there. And I might have to do a couple more truss rod adjustments as well. Uh, the truss rod on this guitar uh, is actually under the neck here like in here and clearly has not been uh, used at all because uh, it took a little bit of force to, to get to move either way so that was a that was quite the experience and also the uh, the nut came right off <laughs> when I removed the strings this just popped right off the the neck of the guitar which uh, isn't a good thing either I also had to adjust the bridge here. Um, this section here was like pushed right into the, the plastic was pushed right into the bridge. So I had to put like a little piece of wood underneath here just so that it was a little bit higher to give the, the E string a little bit more height. There's a lot of small things that I had to do, but hopefully it plays a little bit better. And uh, with a couple more truss rod adjustments, it should be good as new. And the other guitar I worked on today was this guy. It's a Made in Mexico Strat. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference between my fretboard there and the one on the Strat. It's been lacquered. So you can see there's a shine on the fretboard. Whereas mine doesn't have that at all. It's like a, it's basically raw. It's like the bare wood that's there. Here it's there. I don't know why. Some people say that it, it gives like a snappier kind of tone. I don't really hear the difference between the two of them. Yeah, so I had to uh, restring it, uh, polished. I think it came with the factory strings, I'm pretty sure, because when I did the restring on it, I usually put tens on electric guitars because nines are usually way too thin and tens sound like they have a lot more tone behind them they don't sound as thin but the downside to putting tens on it was that the bridge 
I don't know if you can see from the side here. So it's kind of floating a little bit. And by, by floating, that basically means that uh, the end piece here go, comes up a little bit. So there's a little bit of a gap between the body and the bridge right there. So because it's floating and uh, it was originally set up for nines, when you put tens on there, the bridge came up about like another half centimeter. So I had to go into the back of the guitar and, uh, and fix the tension on the bridge. And uh, now it's okay. Plays pretty well. Um, I don't know if I'd ever get a guitar like this though. I might actually end up doing this uh, this neck lacquer idea or neck finish idea because I don't know it looks it looks kind of neat. That shine is always fun. It's like basically it would give it the same sort of shine that Cheryl's guitar has as well, but just on the the neck there. But yeah, there's the other one that I fixed. When Toronto beats Montreal, that's all I'm gonna say. Mm hmm. All right. So we did a lot, a lot of uh, wedding stuff, a lot of DIY stuff. We knocked one thing off completely, so that was awesome. I liked it though. It was fun. I enjoyed it. Except when it came to sparkles, then I started getting frustrated. That's all right. And then we watched the Leafs game and we won. So that was awesome. We found a Yahtzee to play on the iPhone. It's a free version and you can play with your friends. It's called the Yahtzee Addict. If you like Yahtzee, you should download it for iPhone and it's fun and you can play with each other. And I was losing severely and then I somehow came up and tied him. But then it said that I won, but I'm not sure how I won because we had the exact same score. So I'm not sure how that happened, but it was fun. I enjoyed that. The worst place to get a cut. It's like right there. I don't know how I got it either. It's the worst because when you wear glasses, like I do, that, it rests right over the cut. And then you move the glasses back and forth, then it rubs up against the cut, and then just feels horrible. I think I got the cut because of the ring. If you're in the shower and you do this, it just kind of scrapes against the side of your face. So, I guess that's what happened. And then he thought he lost it this morning when he was doing dishes. It was too big to go down the drain, so we knew it couldn't go down the drain. We were looking everywhere for it, and I found it sitting just on top of the garbage bag, about to fall into the garbage. Uh, yep. Clearly, she doesn't like the ring anymore, so she tried to throw it out. I bought it for you. Yeah. You, this is just proof that you don't like it? No. Why would I buy it if I didn't like it? Why would you indeed? I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. I'm asking you either. Okay, so the day is over, and I'm very tired. I look very tired. Tired. So I'm going to head to bed. Chuck is over there heading to bed. And we'll see you guys tomorrow for church and probably laundry because that's fun on a Sunday. So good night and we'll see you tomorrow.